We're going to do it my way. Anyway. Definitely is. <laughs> guys, we're here. And, you know, Life and Times, guys, we changed the name again. So if you don't know, now you know. But, guys, we're here with, with there's a lot of names this guy this guy has. And not, not, not just what his name is, but just, you know, phenomenal, great, just all those just in a line. You know what I'm saying? He's he's made a lot of your favorite shit. I'm not even gonna say a lot to you. He's worked with a lot of people. You know, the most resourceful motherfucker on the entire planet. That's and, funny. and it like die. Nah, I mean, this nigga has a stubborn son. motherfucker. Look, man, and, and, and that's what it and that's what it takes. If you want it bad enough, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be stubborn. You're gonna be adamant. You're gonna find every single way to make sure it happens. So, but but guys, we're we're here with my you know my good friend Grammy Award winning, not nominated, winning, not sent, guys. Hey, the crowd goes wild. Ah, Hit the motherfucking crowd button. Ah, let's get it. Let's go. What's, good? What's going man, on, with you, man? I appreciate you having me on here, bro. Hey, man. And, you know, I appreciate you coming on here, bro. Hell yeah, you know bro. I had, to, I had to bring it back to the a uh, very special place. That's what I said. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just let's let's just get let's just get right into it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I mean. I, just for the people, at least on my side, that might not know mm. who you are, which you know where you come from, all that, give us, give us, give us that background, just the nitty gritty part. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shit. Well, my name is I'm from Chicago. Music producer. It's like the 80th Chicago oh, nigga channel here too. Yeah. Tall as Mexican. <laughs> Uh, what else? <laughs> nah, um, you know yeah, what? You tall as fuck man, too. Tall as bro. Oh God! They said like, they said it's some dude play. I think he played UCLA, he Mexican. But I, I don't gotta. I gotta see if you really Mexican. <laughs> so, cause I'm gonna hold that title. Can, where you're, you're like six, six five, yeah. six five and a half. Yeah. He's making beats. He should be out there helping LeBron. Yeah, bro. Honestly, <laughs> I always want. I, I I hoop as I was a kid, but I just never. I never was good enough or dedicated myself to be good enough. I wasn't stubborn in that to be that good. Nah. You know, but um. But I I decided to do music when I was like 12, 13. Mm -hmm. I picked my name out and everything. Now I sent, I said I was gonna rap. And then I didn't really like like what I was doing. So I said, fuck, I'm a DJ. <laughs> then I'm like, that shit hella expensive. At least you at least you was honest yeah. with yourself. You and know then what I mean? said, fuck, man, that shit too expensive to DJ. I'm like, man, I'm like, let me, you know, and I just I started making beats. I started learning the idea, you know, I like the idea of making beats. Yeah. So probably just like 14, I started fucking around, messing around and Try to figure out what I was trying to, you know, what I was hearing and hearing, getting out there. Yeah. It took a long time, bro. I can only imagine. Hell yeah. I could. It's I, like learning a language, bro. It's like, you know what you want to say, but you're saying it, it's not trash as fuck. But then you keep practicing and practicing and then you sound fluent. It's just like yeah. music, you know what you want to say, but, you know. No, exactly. Because realistically, like I was saying, when you, when you came, I came in and you was, you know, playing on music, like, bro, yeah. that shit is, like, y'all listen to the same sounds for 68 hours. And, and you know what I'm saying, and like, and then it was repetitive, and it's like, yeah, I don't, could, I, I don't think I could do it. I don't have the patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Like <laughs> yeah. I said, if you know what you want, you kind yeah. of expect it to just, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like, let alone like tuning it to even make it, making it sound like that. Like, but so what? You've been, if you've been, like, so what? How long? I'm, you been? I'm 33 now, so I mm -hmm. mean, I, I mean, I, I say I started making like fucking around 14, but like, I didn't start like. I didn't like my first when I got in like into it. Like actually, like mm -hmm. when I first got my first check, like I was nineteen, probably I was Word. eighteen, nineteen years old. It's so like four. I was so 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 it took me like four years, four or five years to get a check. That's good though. No what? And then and then and then from there, you know, it's, it was still like I thought I was like oh shoddy. Yeah, I'm exactly. Here. That shit was not even. I wasn't even in the man. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, even I, in the neighborhood <laughs> of, of what the fuck I was trying to go. I mean, I mean. But like your first placement is probably one of the like the like because you what you did if my memory serves me right you did the mixed the the red, you know the red rum yeah. and then you did there's another one I so yeah so um me, me so I used to make beats with my homie QB and shout out QB QB QB's from uh, Corpus Christi man and you know, <laughs> I met him on MySpace and I met a lot of my producer friends on on MySpace or on uh, future producers and mm -hmm. forums and stuff and. You know, that's our generation the day, from the yeah. internet, man. Yeah. So we would do beat battles online and we'd watch Just Blaze on um <laughs> on uh what's the name of that shit called, bro? It was called um not Tiny Chat. It was some it was, Ustream, no, it was Ustream, Ustream. Yeah, Ustream. Because it, so it was Tiny Chat. We, we would do yeah. Tiny Chat, but like Ustream. Yeah. We'd watch Just Blaze go on there. That was like the IG Live, the original IG Live. <laughs> the man, blueprint. The blueprint, bro. And um, but we all knew each other. So me and QB, you know, I, I owe a lot of where I'm at today because of him. 
he the one that gave me reason, and he's the one that, yo, mm-hmm. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you these Rex files. Uh, Rex files are like, um, they were sample files. Yeah, they were the samples yeah. that were already, they already chopped up, or yeah. samples that already that he already went in just so I could practice and like and get put better them together. At, at chop. Yeah. So he he's someone that I'm very grateful for, and you know, and we helped each other out because um, we helped each other out because uh, as I'm you know making beats and we're making beats together. I'm just trying to think of ways of how to fuck to get out, how how to fuck to get this shit out. Yeah. So I just got creative in a lot of ways, you know, a lot of ways. I, mm-hmm. I try to get creative. I just I didn't really stick to one method. Like it's like, so like you're trying to get in the house, and it's like you only want to go to the front door. But motherfucker, there's a back door, there's, yeah, a, there's a window, window. there's like seven windows, <laughs> eight windows in this bitch, there's a really? cross face, the chimney. Like, why are you trying to get to the front hey, door? Maybe exactly. you're not supposed to go to the front door. Maybe as long you gotta, as you get inside. Maybe you got to make a surprise entrance. Go to the back. <laughs> no, exactly. You know, you're trying to go to the front. It's like, nah. <laughs> but so, it, You know you what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, make sure you get inside. You know what I mean? That's that's the, that's the biggest thing. You know that's what the mean? only goal, bro. So I, like, I wanted, I don't know, man, I was, I was working at, I was bagging groceries at Jewel. It was a grocery store in Chicago called Jewel Oscar. I was mm-hmm. over there. I was working at Finish Line selling shoes. But I was like, um, Man, I was trying to just figure out any way to get, you know, in the door, meet people. You yeah. know what I mean, I understood mm-hmm. that, like at that age, like even at sixteen, that it was all about who you knew and and, and you know relationships and shit. Yeah. So, but I wanted to build them organically. You know what I mean? And that that was my main, you know. And a lot of these things I didn't know. Now as an adult, I, I mean, as I got older, I yeah. understood what it is, but I didn't know at that age. I can't front and be like, yeah, the blueprint. This is how you supposed to do it. I just it's figured, lies. man. I just figured on some like. Just on some shit, just on some like, man, like people, they fuck with you, they're gonna wanna help you and they're gonna mm-hmm. wanna work with you. And if you're good at what you do, even better, cause you're not making them look crazy. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, so, um, so yeah, so DJ Lil John was the first person to help me out ever in music in Chicago. He's mm-hmm. a, he was a DJ at, a, at WGCI. And I figured, um, I figured I would make beats and remix uh, songs on the radio just yeah. to put like, you know, so I could just get my, my music on the mix shows at the five o'clock mix show. So, I, so me and my mom made a deal that I could go to the radio station like two Mondays out the month, and I uh-huh. cut class and you know, take the train to, to GCI. Yeah, and uh, I would go over there, and then um, you know, when I went there, it was a lot of rappers. It was all rappers. I was the only producer there it's outside the door trying was, to get yeah, in. Well, they would so DJ Lil John would have a Monday Music Mondays where he uh-huh. would allow local artists to come to the, to the station, play their music, and uh-huh. whatever he liked, he would put on a mix show. You know, uh-huh. just, you know yeah, gives him exposure. Yeah. But it was all rappers, and I'm the only producer because my my way in was like, yo, I'm finna remix the songs that you are already about to play. Let me just put them on my beats, yeah. And that way, I put my tag on there, and I can talk my shit like yo, I'm on the radio. <laughs> but I don't know what the fuck. I, 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 I'm young, but I don't know. I don't That's know. It's not a bad idea, though. But you I know met what a lot saying? of. But so so met that, a lot of rappers that way too. Through that, he would do events, Monday mingles, and I met. And then I started meeting you know other artists, other producers, other yeah. uh, managers, and publicists, and. I still have friends from those days, like from that yeah. day now. So, you did a lot of things on Mondays. It was on, yeah, he would do Mondays. Yeah, Monday was Monday a day. Monday was a weird day. <laughs> Monday to mango music. Yeah. Monday. So man, so I remember, man, I just remember just like, man, you know, doing that shit and just trying to, just trying to figure it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then, um, and then, and then I got yeah. to Fifty Cent, and I didn't even think I would like to be honest. Yeah. Like, this is important. Like this, this part is important because like I didn't think I was good enough. Or I yeah. didn't think that. Yeah, I just didn't think I was there yet. Yeah, you know what I mean, because because you guys stood up, right? So yeah, so the whole reason, so the only I did my research. Yeah, so the the reason why I even got to, how I got to fifty was mm-hmm. um I was I was uh, listening to a Shade Forty Five and I would listen to K Slay show Rest in Peace DJ K Slay, and I would listen to his show uh, a lot and um mm-hmm. he would always have rappers come in and freestyle and shit. And, I just called the station one day and DJ Word picked up and I'm like, said, yo, I'm trying to send some beats to Slay. Yeah, man, take it. He's like, cool, send, send, send it to this email. So I had to send some beats and um, and he hit me back. Like the next day, K Slay hit me back. Like, yo, this shit fire. Woo, woo, woo. I said, damn. I'm like, all right, cool. Because I, I wanted to work with Papoose. And he's like, man, he's like, man, he's like, yo, save, save this shit. I'm going to save this for Pap. Like, don't give this to nobody. Yeah. So for me, that was my first, like, Oh shit! Like somebody yeah. in New York, and this is the big Fuck rapper. Like yo, I'm, yeah. I'm lit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm on to something. So me, I was like, man, like all this internet shit is like it's cool, but I gotta see some shit move. I gotta see it in action, like, cause yeah, I, just, I, just, I don't like, yeah, I don't, I don't like just yeah. sitting around. So I'm like, man, I told bro, hey, I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna be out there next month. Like I'm gonna be out there working. Like we should link up. 
And it was I was lying because I had nothing to do over there. <laughs> I just didn't want to put too much pressure on yeah, him. Yeah, you don't like, want to. Yo, I'm coming out there to fuck with you. And he's like, yo, I don't know you, <laughs> fucking weirdo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Can't be, can't be too excited either. You gotta, yeah, you gotta but, look like you've been there you before. But you gotta, but you gotta, yeah. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm seven, eighteen years old. I'm like, yeah. I'm hungry, bro. I'm like, fuck nah. that. So, so then I go. So then I, I, I pull up. I book my ticket. You know, I, I, I save my bread for a couple of weeks, and I book a ticket, get a hotel, and I go over there to New York. And I'm calling him, and he's not picking up. And like this is, and 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 I'm saying this, you know, because if he played a role indirectly, well, not direct, he played a role. Yeah, and not, it wasn't, yeah. no, and it wasn't like he was trying to shit on me at all. Yeah. It's not that. It, he didn't know me. It's a busy guy, you know. This guy's yeah. busy, yo. So I, so me, I'm like, well, I'll go on Google, I find the address for where they at, and the most it's at the Rockefeller Center. Yeah. So I just go outside the Rockefeller Center and wait with my homies. Mm-hmm. I had linked up with my homies from Baltimore that we knew each other from MySpace and they did music. And they was like, oh, let's, we're going to fuck with you in New York because we know, yeah. let's just go, we'll meet up and we'll hang do the out. Same yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like, we, we, we're going to link with you because you know, we, we knew each other for years. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. So they so they go too and we go over there and, and I run in the sleigh. I, I, he's coming in, he's he's walking up. I tell him who I was. Like, oh, man. No. Mm. All right, cool. Let me get situated and let me see what's up. And I'm, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for an hour or two because it's like, Maybe like fifteen rappers show up. Yeah, and they're all on the same shit that I'm on. So I'm thinking, damn, I'm not the only one with this idea. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and they all rappers, and like, it's, it's all it's saturated. Like, I'm like, god damn, bro, I'm not the only. I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, so then somebody, somebody come downstairs. And they're like, who rap? Who rap? Oh, cool. One, two, three. Are right, you four? Come on, let's go. And I'm like, yo, and it's like nothing, nah. right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck. So in that moment, bro, like. I mean, mind you, bro, I'm 18 years old. I'm like, that money I spent is all the money I had. Yeah. And I really couldn't believe that I really had the boss. I, I was like, yo, what's <laughs> In my head, I'm talking to him. I was like, yo, bro, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> what did you, you do? You, got all, you came all the way here. Spent do every dime. You don't even know it's for sure. <laughs> and now you got, yeah, now you now you over here looking like a head ass. <laughs> exactly. Because everybody's like, yo, what happened? I thought it was going to be on the radio. I thought it was lit. I'm like, <laughs> like nah, man. I'm like. <laughs> Shit got lost in translation. Damn, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> And I remember Curtis Blow coming outside. The fuck is Curtis? And everybody's like, oh, Curtis Blow, Curtis Blow. Take a picture of Curtis Blow. I was like, man, fuck Curtis Blow. Man, I'm going <laughs> home. I was, no, this is, I'm in the moment. Yeah, yeah in the moment. Respect the Curtis yeah, Blow is a legend. Right. I'm just saying, in the moment, everybody's so caught up. And I'm like, it's random, though. Why not just see what happened? Like, yeah. we, I just got fucking, like, we didn't even, like, I just got fired on. But, but I'm, I'm, I wish I could tell Slay um, how grateful I am for that mm-hmm. because he didn't know me anyway. Yeah, exactly. He know me shit. He just responded to my email, so the beat was hard, and that was it. Like, cool. Yeah. Like he don't have to take me to the radio and take me under his wing. Yeah, like, it's nah, for me nah, because nah. I'm just fucking because I'm just in, sometimes I'm impatient. I'm patient, but I'm impatient. Yeah, and I want to make shit shake. I just went over there. Yeah, exactly. It was it wasn't like he said, yeah, come through. Oh, get cool. We gonna set this Dude, up. Nah. So if it weren't for him doing that, my mind wouldn't have worked the way it did the next day. It would have kicked in because the next day I'm like, man, I'm already here. What the fuck else can I do? Mm-hmm. So and I was I was on allhiphop.com, dot com, and I saw an interview. It was an interview interviewing all of Fifty Cent's staff. It was interviewing his A and R's, his marketing, his project management, his interns. They're just like they're kind of yeah, like just, talking to Fifty. Say, hey, Fifty, how you know? Yeah. Show us your like. Like they were just basically uh, writing a piece on on all the people that help him in his in, in yeah. his day to day. And I was like, Bingo, I'm going to G Unit. I'm going to G Unit. So I'll find go on Google, but I'll find the address. Bam, my Port Authority. Shit's over. The old office was in front of the Madison Square Garden. So I'm a cool 42nd to 28th. Uh-huh. No problem. Got my suitcase back. We out. So we walk. Walk over there. You by yourself. I, I'm by myself. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> left. Yeah, everybody left. So I'm by myself. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. So then I go, I go, I go to the front desk. I sign in. I'm like, yeah, I have a meeting at G Unit. He's like, oh, cool. Yeah, you know, fifth floor, whatever floor. All right, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Go up. I'm like, damn, that's it. I'm like, is it? I'm, I like, I'm inside. I'm like, shit, is it? I'm like, I'm a- I walked in like I, 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 I was I confidence. Yeah. yeah, I walked in like, yo, like, I'm, like, what yeah, I'm supposed about? to be. Like, yeah, I'm here. Three o'clock. All right. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fifth floor. I'm like, cool. So I go up and I'm like, oh shit, it's lit. I'm come here. And then we walk in, and, and hell no, nah, it's motherfucking bulletproof glass or a uh, life size cutout, fifty cent poster. Like he was promoting the uh, TOS. Oh, uh, so he's in full he's camouflage. A marine. He's, he's a marine. <laughs> the marine. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I'm here. And I was like, shit. <laughs> And I go, man, and um, there's a, there's a guy, there's a guy there, and his name is A, and um, he's mm-hmm. an intern, and um, you know, he, I, I, I believe that he was like, a, he's like an angel, it was an angel of mine, mm-hmm. you know, cause he, 
He's like, man, what's up, bro? My man, you know, I'm just, I told him the stories, man. I keep my eyes on. He's like, yeah. man, he's like, okay, but you told him the story. I told him real quick, my man. He's like, what's up, bro? He, I just pull up, but he's behind a bulletproof glass. Uh, like, who the fuck like, who, like, so he pressed the button. Oh, what's so there's up? like glass before you Yeah, there's you glass between even... us. Yeah, oh, so, they, word. I so I'm in the lobby area. These right? niggas are in a bunker. So they're like, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> a, it's, so I'm like, I'm in, a, I'm in a little hallway, not even a lobby, it's like a hallway yeah. with a door, but there's bulletproof glass all around. So I'm like, oh, I can't like get in here. Yeah. So I'm talking to him through the glass. And I'm like, yo, you know, and he's like, Okay, he's like, you know what, man? Hold on, he's like, hold on, bro. And he went and got uh, the A and R, Dre McKenzie, and mm. he went and got him and shit. And he brought him out. He opened the door for me. He said, "All right, man, come on, let's see, let, let's hear your shit. Cause we don't really do this, but come on." Yeah. And uh, and so so from that from that that sit down, mm -hmm. I'm playing shit. I'm playing all me and QB stuff, playing, playing, playing shit. Yeah, they loving it. And I made a beat city. And um and Fifty picked two of them for the for the album from no. that CD for the first one. He, was he there? Or he did wasn't he... there, but I'm saying like a they week, gave two weeks the... later, yeah. like like yo, Fifth mm. picked two, like they oh he well, he picked like whatever, but he recorded the two already. Yeah, and they're like got some more. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I got some. Yeah, I got some more. <laughs> so I'm like, I said, so what I did was I started to just make frequent trips in New York like every month and a half or whatever yeah. I could, and I could afford. So all my money I would work, and all my money would go to go to New York. So yeah. I go over there and. Sometimes I go over there and just sit with Fifty and talk to him for three hours and just what chop is, it up. I mean, real. What is that like? Man, it was, it was cool, what, man. what year is that? Uh, two thousand and uh, this is end of two thousand eight, two thousand nine. So yeah, that, those then, are some so, pretty interesting yeah. talks. <laughs> so 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 it's a lot of interesting talks and a lot of uh, and a lot and and, and and Fifty always, man. He's always he's always supported me in any idea. Like mm -hmm. you know, when I did a short film, he you know he sponsored the you know. Event Word. And, and that's fine. You know, my good lad, you know, like um, you know, any anything I'm trying to do, you know what I'm saying? You know, he'll sit down and chop it up and and um so I'm I'm very grateful for him. And it's like, you know, when you're around that shit, man, it's 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 it's, it's inspiring. And it's like, you know, th that would that would be the person to help me out. Yeah. Because uh, you know, it's just like I I you know, I feel the same way about a lot of shit. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? The, the the bubble that we live in and and, and the shit that the business that we're in. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? So yeah, but it was um Red Room off of War Angel LP, yeah. which is a mixtape. Yeah. And then the song called Strong Enough on Strong Before Enough. I Self Destruct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then those are the two that the we did. The fact that you have a song on Before I yeah. Self Destruct yeah. is fucking yeah, great. Bro. I knew it was I knew it was one of them. Yeah, it was Cause, that one. Because you have tags on that you, at that time, right? Not on the album, Not on the mixtape. On the mixtape, yeah. There's an so, old tag I don't do. I don't <laughs> I didn't use that again, but uh but um um I was um I was I, it was it was very um Anxious, yeah. Um, that period of of Waiting getting your paperwork, pitching. signing it, um, doing all these things because nothing is for sure until it literally comes out. Now, now this is gonna be not a dumb question, but just no. a question in itself. But I mean, did you have like a lawyer to look over yeah. what was okay? So you, so you kind of already were was savvy to the point where it's like, yo, these guys could fuck me out of <laughs> all my money if yeah. I. You know I always, I always, I always had good faith in just what they were doing, and I honestly would have did it for free. Yeah, because um, I had no, no track record, nothing. I'm mm -hmm. literally not not one song. So for me, I was like, man, fuck it. So oh yeah, the lawyer they they uh they they referred me a few, and then oh. I picked one, and she's still my lawyer to this day. Oh shit! So she's seen me since I was 18 to 33 year old. You know what I'm saying? Oh the shit! Literally grandfather into my, my, my yeah. It's my, I love her to death, man. And and she um. She's the best, and um, and she, yeah, and um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I got no publishing on that song, on the, on the, on the, we, we got no publishing because it was mm -hmm. a Gladys Knight mm -hmm. sample, and they ate up most of the, the publishing, it. so that was a big reason why I don't think I ever got offered a pub deal early on because I didn't really have publishing like that. Oh, I was sampling a lot. Yeah, exactly. It was till later on when I moved here, mm -hmm. where I was like, okay, I can make original music with, you know, I'm gonna call Bird and play guitar and bass and. Have a jam session, so just you know, learn that try the to game and make your the, own shit. Yeah, because you know you miss out on a lot of money. Oh yeah, and 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 <clears> I remember you know Khalil told me, Khalil is a friend, you know, my homie. He told me like, man, bro, when I seen how much money I would have made on Beg for Mercy, he said I was either gonna quit or I was gonna figure this shit out and no, make originals really. because he sampled. Yeah, exactly. And he said, nah, I can't do this shit, bro. It's like it's crazy. No, nah, because they 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 want all of it. Well, yeah, I mean, especially if you sampling, they they hit. They hit, yeah. And it's Gladys Knight. You're not sampling some mother. You can't like who's that? It's Gladys yeah. Knight. But so I so that's why now where I'm at now, where, and I preach independence and I preach mm -hmm. ownership is not because I knew yeah the shit from, from the beginning. Then. Man, you know, I man, look, you no offer me, man, you offer me fifty bands. 
Like for, for 10 years, I've been like, man, I'm 22, I'm 32, get out of this bitch, let's go. I probably would have did it. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I mean, but see, but like, even with that, a lot of those label situations or shit like that, I mean, not only do they they kind of, I, w- I don't want to use the word pick on, but kind of pick on the, the minorities and stuff like that in the sense where it's well, like. Well, they pick on, on, on they, they, they prey on yeah. you not having knowledge. Yeah. On, you know what I'm saying not be knowledgeable on what you're signing, what you're looking at, and and or asking questions because there's no dumb question. Yeah, ask anything you want because then the day you sign some shit. Yeah, and you gotta be 100 percent confident that when About you put that doing. pen, all right, cool, is what I'm doing. Yeah. So like you know, but I never like got offered shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my whole twenties, most of my twenties was me working jobs, having yeah. different jobs, hustling, making my bread, just so I can like come to L.A., go mm-hmm. to Atlanta. Um, go to New York and buy some equipment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like buy some whatever. Just, just, just everything was going back into this. Yeah. So, but you can, but you was getting royalties though from. I was getting royalties other, for sure. Not from, not from the mixtape, but from the, <laughs> from the album. Yeah. From the album. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. I got my royalties, my mechanicals, but I didn't get yeah. any publishing. Yeah. So, so there was no publishing for me to get collect. Yeah. And um, you know what I mean. But that's just like, you know, it's 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 it's, it's, it's the first one. Yeah. And, and, I mean, and it's like, and, and I sampled again. I sampled yeah. a big song from a big artist. So that's that's kind of a given, yeah. Um, but um, yeah. And then and then, um, once I did that, it kind of opened up more doors for me in Chicago because they mm-hmm. were the oldest kid working with Fifty Cent. Like, damn, yeah. oh shit, not saying. So then then I kind of worked backwards. Mm-hmm. So then then now I'm in Chicago and now I'm working with all Everybody. the street legends. Yeah. At first I were all the street, all the hood, all the slide Polaroid, LEP, <laughs> my boy Parquet, YP, Bump J. Like I was working with you all were, the. You were with Parquet. Yeah, Park is that's like, crazy. That's my, yeah, that's my brother, man. Parquet, yeah. Bump J, um, man, just being in the trenches, bro, for real, like making mm-hmm. hard, hard, like street shit. Street shit. So it's why it's so funny how like now I'm doing what I'm doing, but or the type of music I'm making now, yeah. what I've been making, is like just as evolution, but you have to evolve. Right. Working all the street, like you know, all the all the all the people in the um in the city. And uh, being and being in those environments and, and coming out, you know, making those and making that type of music, um, it it was it was definitely like you know I, I was always in my business. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I feel like uh, <clears throat> you know when you when you come you know you coming with you know you coming correct you come you know you coming with like yo I'm trying to work with music yeah. you know and all this shit like people respect that because everybody respect yeah. when you know when you know yourself and what you want to do. There's motherfuckers that don't know who they are. I mean, it's a goofy ass man. motherfucker. You know, like, <laughs> that's like, how you get ripped off too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how you get. It's like, cause you don't know who the fuck. But you know, you come yeah. here on some cool shit, man. You come here, you camera, you chilling, you doing your thing. Man, ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Exactly. But it, cause I would get a lot of like sometimes comments like people like, yo, you go over there, or you be going over there. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Man, you don't be. Nah, why would I be? I'm here to do music. Bro. Yeah, we're here to do music. Here to do right. music. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not. I'm no, neutral. I'm not, <laughs> I, I, hey, man, I ain't, ain't stopping at no stop signs. And I'm not. I'm calling five minutes before I get there so that way you come get me. But like. I'm trying to man. get this. I'm trying to make this music, yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly, right. Yeah. And I'm just a fan. Like I love Mooney and Count. Like I love fucking Parquet and Bump J and and Slot Polaroid. Like I was like a fan because I was listening to this shit from Chicago. You know, yeah. being in Chicago. So, but you got to, you know, especially when you know uh, speaking about Chicago and how you have to move and things of that nature. I mean, yeah. I mean, it comes with the territory, though. You know what I'm saying? You're from there, so you wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, nah, We know what's up already. You know, yeah. you know, you, you know where neighborhoods you're in and what colors not to wear. Exactly. But when you with certain people, man, it don't matter. You you with them, so yeah, you're good. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> a, that's the whole point. You're pretty. You know what I mean? Like I could be, I could be black and gold in that bitch. It's all GDs, and I'm with them. They cool. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, that's straight. Yeah. That's crazy. And then, so you were just doing like you know, like say with the parquet shit that you were doing with them. Um, were these just tracks that you were just producing? I was giving albums? out beats for free, bro. Ah. I was pulling up sessions with YP, Lungs, Big Homie, mm-hmm. all these, all these, all these rappers. My homie, my brother Doc, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. I was giving beats out for free because ah, um, I was just trying to make that name, make too. a name. And then you know, I give a couple for free, and, and then I right, cool. Like, I give you one for your projects for free. Yeah, now, next on one, one, now yeah. next one, I know you got some bread because you got what's his name funny your shit. Yeah, let me get that little, let me get that band. Yeah, exactly. Let me get a band, you know what I'm saying? I remember, I, I mean, I remember days, man, times pulling up and getting paid in all ten dollar bills. You know, I right, cool. I got three bands at ten dollars. Yeah. Let's go. I'm lit. <laughs> this shit for the, I'm gonna hold this shit three bands down for a little while. For a little while. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, do what you gotta and, do. And, 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 yeah, yeah, bro. Then I remember, bro. Like those are good. Like there, I don't consider those bad times. Because they're humble times, yeah. and the, and it's and it's all part of the journey, and yeah. it makes you appreciate all this shit even more. 
and you hold on to it more because mm-hmm. you had to work hard for it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when when it's a slow, when you take the stairs, you you take care of the shit a little more as yeah. opposed to you take the elevator, yeah. you get that bitch fast, you, and you just, this bitch wilding you out. Just back there, you don't you even know, know how you got here. You're like, how the fuck did I get here? Well, yeah, <laughs> so you, you know. Everything here is so new. Like, you know everything's so new, but the stairs, you must have, you got to work for that motherfucker. And you know you'll get there eventually. You just got to keep climbing. You just got to keep, keep climbing. Keep walking, man. So yeah. that's, how, that's how I did it, man. And, and um, it's a grind, though. And I will move yeah. just how I move now, man, by myself. You see, I came nah, in by nigga. myself. Nah, I don't got nobody. I don't got no 10, 15 motherfuckers with me. I need it. I like you know. I like it when I'm alone. I can. I, I think. I, I. I think clear. Yeah. And, and I come up with better ideas and concepts. And there's less distractions. And less. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can get. I can get my. I can get. You know, my, my job done. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, even with you're working with artists, I'm guessing besides whoever the artist brings. I mean, I've seen you work with. You know, pretty much how we met. But like you know, yeah. I've seen you work with artists and things like that, and being very like you know hands on and you know going back and forth with examples or going, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. is, is it's always been like that or is that something that you've kind of grown into where, where it's like, you know, I need to kind of, you know. Grown into it and I got better at it. Yeah. Because um, this is all about repetition and mm-hmm. being consistent. So, Especially with different sounds though too. Because mm-hmm. I mean, the, like I said, you're you're jumping from very street legend, you know, mm-hmm. type music, especially at, especially in the, in the time. Yeah, because I mean we're talking right. about twenty ten. Yeah, like I said, I mean shit. I was, I think I was in like high school. Or yeah, like I graduated oh seven. So I was like, once I started fucking with everybody, I was like nineteen, twenty. I was like twenty. I was like around turned twenty. No, I was yeah, I was, yeah. yeah. I was no, I was in middle school because if so, if yeah, because I was saying self destruct came out. I was in middle school. Oh so, nine, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so I was two years out of high school, and you yeah, was in middle school. I was in middle school. Damn, that's I'm crazy. 20, I'm twenty five. Oh shit, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. So, so was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's why I was like, bro. That's why yeah, I was he like, was like twelve when I figured out like <laughs> yeah. what what was going on. I said, God damn, yeah, like yeah. that's funny as hell. But and, um, it's and it's a weird, not a weird, but it's a very specific moment era of my story but of up, music of though. music that it's like it's to, to where i'm doing what i'm doing now yeah it's very the polar opposites super but i mean that's 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 what makes the story cool, i mean man. but like even even with that i mean like like i said when you was playing your shit earlier i mean the your 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 particular a uh, signature i guess you could say isn't it's it's you know feel sampley some of it is samples you know stuff like that but it again it, it doesn't it it feels old, but it's it's not like it's. Yeah, it's you said it new, earlier. Yeah. You said it's, it feels it's like it doesn't sound old, but it's not new. I mean, yeah. it's not, it's, but it's new. You yeah, said. but it's new. Like it yeah. it it feels like, like nostalgic. Yeah, but nostalgic. It's, but it's new. Like it's like like it's an actual like you know environment. Like yeah. you're listening to like a, a like a like a whole area, a whole another world. I guess. I'm yeah, saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to sound fucking corny, but nah, like but that's, that's dope, man. That's you know what real saying? shit. Like that's 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 really, what I'm trying to do, though. Yeah, like I said, it sounds very yeah. jazzy. I I got a lot of those tricks, man. A lot of those ideas from um, sampling records and listening mm-hmm. to a lot of uh, Black Ivory and the Silvers and Ooh. listening to whatever the dramatics. Listening to um, listening to uh, Dexter Wenzel. Um, mm-hmm. He has a song, and in the song you hear kids in the background, and mm-hmm. I'm like, that shit's so fire. Mm-hmm. It just sounded cool. It sounded yeah. like a world. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, and then I just so I just started incorporating that too in some of my beats. Yeah, because you and have it's a... super subtle. It might be in the left speaker, and I have some nature sounds on the right speaker, low, low like on good days. Yeah, exactly. But it's it creates an environment, a world. Almost. Yeah, no, it, it, not to cut you off. No, no, you're good. Dude. But like, no, it, it, like it does because I mean I always think like and not to bring up like another producer, but like say yeah. for, for instance like Alchemist. Alchemist mm-hmm. has always been one of those people that has like those those deep layers. Within his beats, yeah, and that's what I'm like when I listen to sh- like your shit. Like obviously, I know like oh, this is this is not saying like he did this. You can you can that's, just tell see, straight off the bat. That and that shit mean a lot to me, bro. Cause yeah. that's the hardest thing for me to to crack was a sound, yeah, um, or a style. You know yeah. what I mean? Like okay, cool. Like this is what you do because you put this and this in your beats, mm-hmm. and it's like that's I know it's you. And then you go <laughs> in and go, oh, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> that shit is hard, bro. No, exactly. I mean, that you... shit hard as fuck. And it's like you know, I I, I was just trying different shit, and I just f- I found something that I, that that's, that I felt like was me. Mm-hmm. And then that's why I don't I don't use a tag because um, I was just about to ask you. Yeah, so why not? I don't. I, I like tags though. Yeah, I mean, you know, you hear shit like Weezy, like yeah, I'm like, like this shit would be hard. Yeah, or like or Metro or whoever. Yeah. I'm like this shit would be hard as fuck. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I like there's a mystery still. Let's keep the mystique of the I like of, that of the artist. That's why I won't do rhythm roulette. I won't do none of that shit because 
Because uh, for what? I like it though. I like no, watching I mean, them. They're, they're no, and I want great. my homies to do them. And they're dope as hell. And I know that we live in a different time. And I might be yeah. I might be missing out on certain shit because I ain't do it. But man, I like the mystery, bro. I ain't see Dre do it, Kanye for real. I ain't seen none of them do it. So I seen some of my favorites do it too. Jake One, C No, Khalil, yeah. like all them guys mm-hmm. did this shit. So there's no really right or wrong. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, no, I mean, I was just saying, because there's like, I mean, I <clears throat> I guess it does in a sense. The whole point of it is to, you know, obviously push the culture of sampling forward Fuck and, yeah. and whatnot. But, <clears throat> oh my God. But there is like a, a, I guess, not a sellout thing, but you get a lot of people that are like, you know, kind of like sample, sample jockeys in a sense. Where like, they don't really want to give that away. You know what I'm saying? Or what they oh, do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so, we don't want to give out the, the samples, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Or how they go they about be sample it. snitches, yeah. Yeah, nobody wants to sample snitching because half the times, I've even heard beats that they've made on that actually end up on projects mm, where it's like yeah. maybe they just caught them actually doing what they're doing and then use that beat and it's like well then shit niggas could just go back and look at what you know what I'm saying which again isn't a bad thing you know but at the same time you know this is y'all bread and butter this out you know the chef doesn't give away all the ingredients nah, to the cake, and, you know but you know and, and it's like and I understand trust me times are changing and it's like it, and it's not that used to be maybe taboo like you don't do that yeah. shit now you do that shit like I can't front I'll go on Instagram live and I'll make beats on the spot but it's mm-hmm. live you caught it you caught it you didn't you didn't yeah but like <laughs> I don't want to do really I don't want to do that shit I want to keep a uh, like maybe like I said that's just like Look, a personal thing yeah no because I said it, it, if yeah. it's if it's something that you feel that's just not you. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's not yeah. you, then obviously no. it's, it's not going to be for everybody. <clears throat> not for everybody. You know I mean? No. Um, but yeah. But I think, I mean, it just, I'm, I've I've always thought like those shows were always like scripted though. Like, it's, yeah. Like, I've always thought nah, that. Nah, my homies, I have like, homies that, that like close homies that did it. Yeah. Nah, they, they, they. It's real life. Yeah, they, they, just, they go, they boom, boom, put the records and fuck those guys. Do they pay for the records? Uh, or do I, they have I to never asked, but may, I, mean, I don't know. I feel like that. <laughs> they probably I, do. They probably pay for it. They have to, right? Like, you know, it's not, I didn't want to do this today. I'm like, sure they, <laughs> buy the record, they, they pay for the records, get you a bottle of Hennessy or whatever you drink. You go crazy. Is it, you know is it? It doing, I think the last one I watched though, like real life, realistically, was uh was Mac Miller's. Rest oh, in peace. Mac, but yeah. right, he had he had a dope when he was outside. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he was doing his whole. It's shit. hard. No, the, the, the creative process of making music is beautiful, bro. And I think that everyone, like, I think it's cool to even see it because even growing up, we didn't have like my era, my generation. Yeah. Like we had two videos. We had Timbaland in the studio on Fade to Black showing Jay Z. <laughs> Those beats. Those beats. And then we had a Just Blaze when he still had his locks on the MPC. Niggas forget 4, that 000, Just Blaze had locks. Or 2000. And then there's one more, Heat Makers. Uh, Arsonist, Arsonist is making a beat and his next tail go off. And he playing, he's making a beat. That's the only three you yeah. have, bro. Like, yeah. you have nothing else. So yeah. you want, there's no, you, you, the only three videos you have at that, you're 12, 13, you like are 14 years old looking for shit. That's all you got. But now you got thousands of tutorials. I bet you got tutorials. You got you got um tutorials. You got behind the beats. You have yeah, rhythm yeah. roulette. You got segments with producers making beats with a fucking yeah. paper cup and a pen, and they gotta make a beat out of it. Like it's so crazy, bro. So not nah, even going crazy. It's, so there's no it's no wonder that a twelve year old kid now can fucking make some shit. And this is crazy. Exactly. You know, what I mean? man, you are so advanced. With exactly. technology advanced, the kids are smarter. The resources are just more available, more resourceful. Too. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you, hell, you, motherfucker, you better be nice because you got everything for you to be nice. Literally, you know. So what I mean? it's like, so I, I love it. I love technology. I love it. Shit's evolving. Mm-hmm. Cause if shit would be the same, bro, you'd be rubbing two sticks, making fire, bro. <laughs> and fuck that shit. Give me a lighter, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, no, nah, worry. So you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not stuck in no damn like yo, the good old days. Fuck that shit, <laughs> no. bro. Make it's this shit hard. easier, dog. Yeah, no, nah, worry. Make it easier. You and, and make, make, and, and you know what I'm saying? It'd be fun. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, but I just don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> curiously though, and this is like a, a question inside of another question. Yeah. Some other shit. But so you you don't use like one of those like the beat maker things where it's like the like the pads and shit like that like nah, the fucking just, nah, Akai nah, fucking. Nah, I used to have an yeah. Akai MPD and the shit. Nah, I, I, yeah. I use a, a keyboard, a bitty yeah. keyboard, and I got a Mellotron and I got a I got a motherfucking my Keyscape. I got yeah. my Sarah okay. Sample. You know, my, mm-hmm. I got I got I have, I have libraries and libraries of homies that make loops and yeah. I have also just. How do you uh, feel about loops? I, I love them, man. I think that if you could. If if somebody out there making some shit for you and, and mm-hmm. you y'all can break bread together and you can help that kid you know get mm-hmm. a placement and he helping you get a placement too, 
Man, it's, it's it's beautiful, bro. It makes the job easy. I got a I got another con. I got a not a. It's it's not a controversial question, but it's a it's just a question that yeah. I've, I've been seeing like artists be yeah, yeah. upset about it. Is that you know you have somebody that made the loop. Mm. I make the drums. Right. You make the snare. You have somebody that does this. Somebody you have yeah. five guys people on, on a one song. beat. Yeah. And then when the splits have to happen, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fucking chaos. five people. Do you really think that it's necessary to have four and again, this is just no I don't, curious. I, don't, I, don't, I mean You know what I mean? Like you think it's worth the headache after or do you think like it's just necessary altogether? I mean, if 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 that's what it took to get to that result and y'all got it, and that's what it took, mm -hmm. and you wanted to eat that. Yeah. You don't ask for more money and be like, well, we need 40, we need, we need, nah, it don't work that way. Nah, Because, man, they don't, nah. <laughs> if that was the case, bro, I'm owed a lot of money. No, nah, because. But it's not how it works. I think that, I think that, I think that it's, it's, I, I fuck with the idea of putting your homies on and, hey, man, come ask me on this shit. Yeah. So he can get you some publishing, get you some, he gonna get you credit. I think that's yeah. tight. Because the collaborative, the idea of collaboration is more accepted now than it was yeah. maybe like when I was coming up. Or, it's like, or even before that, where, yeah, I, I do everything that myself. Thing, yeah. Yo, I do everything myself. And motherfuckers wasn't making shit by themselves. Yeah, exactly. Motherfuckers had danger hands. Motherfuckers had people doing shit for them. Yeah. Yeah. Or or helping them out. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? So it's like, let's stop friend. Like, nah, yeah. bro, like, you need help. And <laughs> if it weren't for my people that, like, if it weren't for my, by my friends that I collab with, I wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't be half, it would have this, none of the shit I've been doing. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, so I'm all about, man, I'm all about just, like, getting to the end result, bro. Let's, let's just make this shit happen. Let's make the music happen. That's what I do if I do it for music. Yeah. All this shit is just, it's just it, it come with it, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. But that's not why we do it. We do it because this is how I literally keep myself sane, how I express myself. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I did not work real shit. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, it's just, that's why I'm saying you get you get those people that are, you know, that are just in it for the money to figure out, well, if I just put one thing on here, and when, you know, the splits come back and they ask me, you know, how much I want 40 grand, you know, for doing a snare. It's like, eh, you know what I'm saying? It's not I how this works. Like, like, you know. like, bro, you, that, I, I, I heard, I've heard a couple of stories like that. I had an incident one time where I made a beat, man. I made a beat. I made a beat. Um, I made a beat at, at, at this uh, studio, at the studio. And I used uh, one of my homies' uh, samples and I flipped it, made a beat, cool. Uh, the other person gave it to another person and they said, hey man, can this person add some because then this person will be able to get it to this artist. I'm like, all right, cool. They want to add a little something. They're going to get it to, what's, what's the yeah. name? Cool, let's do it. Song song come out. What's his name? Never, never the, the, the artist they had in mind never even cut it, but the other artist cut it. A big artist cut it. Yeah. But the big artist used my version. But the other person was like, hey man, but since I added to it and I'm like, you do I get some pub? I said, no. Shit, I said no. Nah. I said, well, if they if they end up using the version that you contributed to, of course, because that's yeah. fair. Because that's yeah. Cause but if you use my version, no. Not even the song come out, bro. Use my version. Hey, what's up, man? I <laughs> nah, man. I said, hey, dog. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> I'm like, but that shit. I told you. <laughs> yeah, and then the motherfuckers get weird. They block. They they talk crazy, and and mm -hmm. and, and they get and they block you, and they do weird shit. But it's like, why do you want credit for something you didn't do? One number one. And don't like, I, cause I don't want no credit for something I didn't do. Yeah, exactly. I want to be for what I, I did. I want to be able to talk about. Fair it. is fair. Yeah, exactly. But it's like motherfuckers be too perked out, or they be too, uh, or, or they or they be in a little bubble and think like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like that 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 at the end of the day we're all human beings and we all have to respect each other. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we're men. So it's like like you get to you know, talk, talk to me as a man. So it's like let's not get let's not get it all fucked up. So it's like. Sometimes you gotta remind people, bro. You feel me? Like, hey, like, like, yeah, yo, that shit ain't gonna fly, yeah, it's bro. It's not gonna go. You know yeah, because I mean? yeah, it's not gonna go. And then not only you gonna fuck it, your because, name up. Yeah, you gonna, right. But now, but now it's like, okay, cool. Now I gotta say something when I see you because like that shit not cool. Because over texting, you know, it's whatever. But yeah, it's not. Exactly. So, but I think that uh, we should all. But motherfuckers is thirsty. They thirsty, and they might be thirsty because they in a fucked up deal. But you signed a fucked up deal. You trying to make up, get that pub, collect that pub. Get out your deal. Yeah, exactly. Don't sign a fucked up deal. Cause I don't gotta be thirsty for nothing I do. Cause I don't got no deal with nobody. Exactly. And I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, but I think I just think it's very like, I don't know, just very un unhonorable to fucking do that and then try to like run off with a bag. Cause you're not gonna just bro, fuck it happens your name. all the time, bro. Yeah. It happens all the time. People try to take credit for shit they didn't do, get money for shit they didn't do, to get publishing for shit they do, and that's how they get off to it. And and online they brother love, and they're like. 
Yeah. They're they're all man peace yeah. and and oh man and it's like cap as hell. Man, you wicked as fuck. Yeah, no nah, word. I mean, you know, I just I just always wanted to ask that question with somebody yeah. that's that's within that bubble yeah. of you know of what I'm saying. Yeah. But it, on top of that too, do, do you know do you do you know music theory? Like, is that a no, thing that you? Because like I know a lot of people back then it it teetered. Like, not a lot of people knew. A lot of people yeah. were self taught. Because I'm gonna guess you self taught yourself. I taught myself how. To, yeah, I taught myself how to do it. I mean, even playing the keys that I know and the drums that I could play and the, everything I learned from sampling. I learned from God damn. studying all of the, the, the all the shit, the yeah. all the all the music that I, all the Willie Hutch that I've sampled and all the um, you know, the silvers yeah. and all the um um uh, all the Smokey Robinson and, and, and all the all that stuff, bro. Yeah. 'Cause you know I'm Mexican, bro. I ain't, I ain't didn't hear that music growing up, bro. Exactly. I heard something totally different. Oh, totally. But I, you know, fell in love with this music at, at mm-hmm. twelve, and you know, and I fell in love with Dr. Dre and and Nas. Those are my two. Like I fell really? with Dre. Yeah, like the the first album I bought was Stillmatic, but the first album that I got was Crying Two Thousand One. So, huh? Imagine for me, I'm like, what is this shit? No, bro? exactly. That's why I always want to make sure my drums hit. I always want to make sure that you know, uh, with, if I'm producing a song or I'm producing something with a rapper and and that we get some concepts and creative writing in because Nas is the king of that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so that all that shit opened my mind up and, and it made me, you know, it, it 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 brought me in, bro. Like it was no way I was gonna go nowhere else. I knew yeah. I was gonna do this shit. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know what I mean? So 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 um that that's what I was on. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what got me into, you know, into the music shit. theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The music theory thing. Yeah, I don't know music theory and I should <laughs> learn how to I should learn because I I I'm pretty sure that I'm not pretty sure. I know that it'll, it'll be advantageous. I know. I know that if I learn music there, I learn. I could, you know, communicate more. I'm hearing, um, but I, I work with some of the best, man. Like, yeah, you know, and I don't even call them musicians because they're producers. Because I work with musicians that play like producers because they're producers. <laughs> exactly. Because you got musicians that play like musicians, and they be like, they be in that bitch doing all crazy shit. And it's like, yo, this ain't that type of party. Like, we just, man. And you and yeah, so and then and then when you tell them what you want them to play, like that's it. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. it. Because you know, less is more, and because you're trying to make yeah. a song. That's the the that's the yeah. angle. We're not trying to make a. We're not making a jam session exactly. album, and it's like motherfuckers going crazy. So it's like, mm-hmm. but you know, I work with producers that just happen to play instruments, yeah. and we all get together and 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 um and we do and we and we and we make some tight shit, you know? and um and uh and 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 also, it's, it's, I think it's important that that. You know, like one can say that they mm-hmm. advocate for, uh, you know, being fair. Yeah. But it's like when it comes down to splitting that check, motherfucker, you fair or you or you yeah, be, yeah, yeah. or you cap? I was like, no, no, no. So yeah, so Man. like you know, I I think that that you know, every producer that is gonna watch this and listen to yeah. this, that if you do jam sessions, man, y'all should definitely figure it out. Make sure you give pub to these guys, man, and give them a piece of that check, bro. Cause mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like. A lot of the times, I can almost guarantee, guarantee you. that you're not telling them what to play. Mm-mm. Because back in the day, jam musicians would come in and look at you like, "What you want me to play?" Exactly. I'm gonna play this. But you sitting there, and be like, "Hey man, hey and you and I see it. Hey man, just vibe out, man. Just do your thing. Motherfucker, vibe out means I'm producing. And guess what? Yeah, that means I, I get published. It means I'm being published. It means I'm getting like, a fucking check. Guess oh, what? God. So be fair. No, exactly. And, I mean, it, and it create an incentive for them to keep wanting to come back, and create the environment where it's like it's gonna be fun and fair, and it's gonna be, you know, because it's more than enough for everybody. Yeah. And uh, I'd rather work with you for ten years and just that, just for a little, just for one, just two, for sessions. one two sessions. Yeah, man, I want to work you forever, bro. Because if it works, it works. Exactly. And I mean, it's, I mean, it's. I always think about like how like like how Marvin Gaye would have all his jam sessions for a lot of his music, mm-hmm. and just kind of like you know the fact that, you know, you're. You're definitely commanding each and every person to do a certain thing, but then you know, looking at the other side of things, where people are just like, "Well, they're not really knowing what they want. They're just gonna see if they find something within that, you know what I'm saying? That one session and see if it's gonna stick or not." And be like, "Well, yeah." Lie. If I was a musician, I was doing that shit. I'm getting my pub, bro. Oh no, I'm getting my credit. I'm Before I'm, I'm, do I'm, anything, I'm writing lines. I'm making shit. No, no, I need my. That's that's. that's <sighs> come on, come on, bro. So it's like, so it's the right thing to do, man. I mean, and it's like you know, I, don't you want to feel better about yourself? Or you want to be a slime ball the rest of your life, man. 
lot, just taking lot, people's publishing. A lot of people are gonna take the yeah. fly ball route, bro. But you, you know see how it works out for them. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the you know at the end of the day, you're gonna you know what I'm saying. Your name is all you got sometimes, so it's, it's that's all you got, bro. And it's like and it's like, man, I rather just you know, like I said, take the stairs yeah. than to be like, nah, fuck that. Let me get this bit. Because what are you trying to reach anyways? Because you know when you reach it, you know you're not happy. You you're not you want to go more. You know, I want more. Yeah. So it never is a thing. You never, never it. You don't reach it. It's just not a ceiling. It just is. Yeah. You just there. You just keep going. Yeah. And it's like if you love this shit, bro. It's it's there is no end goal. It's just I want to keep creating and keep filling and keep putting stuff out. That's gonna because mm-hmm. yeah, you want to be responsible with your with your with your with your gift. With yeah. Your doing. Yeah. Because you know people listen, man, and you you can you know you be influencing people, but you don't even know. Yeah. And um, you have to be responsible because it's all it's 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 um. It's energy, bro. Yeah. There's magic. It's like, you know, when an artist performs, it's a ritual. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You be responsible for what message you're sending out. So well, it's literally. like, you know, certain shit, people, certain artists say certain they, they certain things and, yeah. and they track certain things and it's like, yeah, yeah. because you're talking about shit. And this ain't it the yeah. whole time. You, you know, know what I'm saying? So it's like, so try to just be responsible with, with, with the energy you put out and the message that you're, that you're putting out there. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, that shit do become a battle of the boomerang, bro. And um, that's why I especially try to if you be, preach it too, yeah, yeah. That's why I try to be very intentional with my work and what I do and how I do it. And you know, I I I, I just like go back to what I grew up loving, like uh, Tim Burton, yeah, and Quentin Tarantino. And I love Tim Burton because Tim Burton had a world, mm-hmm. and you knew when you saw a movie with Tim Burton, Beetlejuice, yeah. and you saw Night Before Christmas, and you saw Batman Returns, and regular mm-hmm. Batman. You knew Tim Burton, yeah. You know, say Edward Scissorhands. He has a certain style. He has certain people. He always call, yeah. And Tarantino got same thing. It's, it's, it's a certain fucking, writing. It's yeah. a certain. He's always gonna have fucking feet and shit. He's got foot fetish. He's gonna, <laughs> crazy. He gonna have Samuel <laughs> Jackson. He's gonna have <laughs> yeah. certain the apple sick or apple uh, whatever What's it's called, called red uh, apples. Yeah, red cigarettes. apples. It's a world, bro. People want to get lost, man, because yeah. this fucking shit's already fucked up. And I'm listening to music. And I'm like, damn, I'm listening to my fucked up shit again. Like, it's, I'm I can't escape. It's like watching movies important. about traumas. Like, bro, I don't want to watch this shit, man. Yeah, I'm already living. I, I, that, I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I want to escape. So it's like for me, is I want to create. I'm creating this world of like you know. Um, it's it's more than mood music for you in a sense. Hell yeah, too. man! Yeah. Because like, fuck yeah, bro! Because it's intentional and it's like like you know, minus the bullshit life is great. It was minus the bullshit life is great because shit I was going through, real shit. It was in like real, everything I was going through, I lost. Mm-hmm. And then you hear in the music and then um uh, and then I and, and through that process I figured out who my go to's were. Like who my go to. Like I got a couple guys that of people that yeah. artists that I'm like, yo, they're gonna come back on the next one. Yeah. Uh because they help bring my world to life. Yeah. But I'm gonna use them in a different way. So mm-hmm. you ain't never gonna be mad at Quentin Tarantino uses Samuel Jackson again. You're not gonna be like, dude, you got Samuel look, Jackson. Look how like, he brought that around. Like, I, wanna, <laughs> I wanna see how you I wanna see him, what you gonna do in this yeah, exactly. one. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. So the same shit if I use Saba again on my album or or, or, or Ryan's son. Mm-hmm. I want how you gonna do it this time? Yeah, exactly. And 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 that's what, you know, what I want to do. And it's like because we don't do it for the money, bro. We do it for the. We want to last. And it's, it's yeah. I say that I say that almost. I mean, every time I see you talk about artists, I always say, <laughs> I mean, that's that's the goal. Like we kind of have to remember, like we want to last. This isn't like a one and done. Okay, cool, we did it. I like nah. This is like. I need this to be like the way we talking about fifty and everybody else. Yeah. I need I, I need to be the same way. And all this stuff I learned, you know, as I was evolving and growing. You know, mm-hmm. when I moved to LA and came to this studio, this is a studio, bro. I would stay in. I would be here for hours, bro. This is yeah. my boy Paperboy Fave Studio. I'd be here for days, man. I was sleeping on the couch, like mm-hmm. and I was crashing my man's couch. I was sleeping, yeah. in, I was sleeping in Fave couch, and I'm like, yo, sometimes you had a girl over, and I, you know what? <laughs> Shit, go to the studio, bro. Or go 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 to Ryan crib. Yeah, or go, go, to, somewhere or else. go to somebody crib because you got a shorty coming over. Yeah, word. Or oh, hey, bro, y'all in the studio, y'all y'all be up by like nine because I got you know, fucking Chloe and Hallie coming here at ten to record. They come mm. here to record. Bro, I remember them some 2014. They were young as shit, like. Eight years ago, what are they? Twenty one now. Twenty two. So they're like fourteen. They're young. Yeah. I remember like, oh shit, we gotta leave. Chloe Helly come. Mm-hmm. Cause they wanna record. So like, though. So so all that shit, bro. It's like, ma, like people will want ask for shit, and just be like, I'm gonna just sit right here and wait for it. It's like you can be waiting forever, <laughs> motherfucker. Guess what? That's bro. True. You gotta meet that shit halfway. You gotta make the trips that you don't want to make. You, you know how many times I came to LA, bro? Mm-hmm. Back in the day, and shit happened. My word. And only one person lived there with me on the last day. Like, it, and I paid for the hotel. Yeah, so for you, that. you but, did the whole expense. Oh, and, but this. and you got one thing done. And it's like, but that's how, oh, you got nothing done. Yeah. 
But that's the name. That's the, but that's what you want to do shit that not everybody can do. Then you want to go through shit that nobody want to go through. Exactly. I mean, you, you know, know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is how, it, and that's the price and con- the, the deal you make with yourself. Mm-hmm. So for me, I was like, nothing was, not like, not like, it, there's no option. Yeah. Like, when I was, when I left my Chicago, bro, I was comfortable as hell. I was making my mm-hmm. beats, making my money, and my little girlfriend. Family's over there. I'm chilling. Word. Yeah, word. But I knew that it's I was comfortable. I would knew that I would hate myself mm-hmm. at 40 years old. Being like, damn, man, I wish I went to LA. What would have happened? I'd rather die, bro. Oh, like, no. Shit. And for me, it was like, and I know it sounds dramatic, but I said, yo, either it's going to work or I'm, or I'm done. Or I'm de- and then when I come back, I'm going to try it again. Look, and, and no, it's not, and I really don't think that's dramatic. I really think, I mean, if anybody that's doing this shit seriously, like in any way, shape, form, fashion that really wants this to be, and you know, this could be, you know, a number of things, whatever. It could be anything, bro. And, and you really, and like, or there's no backup plan, or you're just working jobs to support what do you're it. doing. It's like, do it. It just keep your eye on the prize. Like, it's going to get hard. Like, there's no way, there's no way it's going to be easy. I, it was times you know when I, mean? I had like $70 in my account, and, mm-hmm. and I remember I'm like, all right, cool. You know what? Today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, I'm an engineer for my boy Dollar. He's a mm-hmm. from Brooklyn. He out here, amazing artist, rapper. He would always pay me cash as an engineer. He always throw me extra. He always throw me extra cash. Mm-hmm. Cause he would always like to do the sessions from like twelve to eight in the morning, one to <laughs> t- to ten. Yeah. So he knew like, man, I'm putting this dude to the fucking. But you know what? I'm gonna throw my two hundred dollars. Yeah. So I knew, all right, cool. I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna make like. I don't make about eight hundred. Yeah, exactly. I right, cool, so I'm good. And I get on the phone, with my parents. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, what's up? How, how she go? I'm great. Hey, I'm good. Oh man, <laughs> my parents don't even know I'm crashing my homie couch. No, like, I don't part me. Because I got too much pride to tell them to sleep on the couch. Because like, I don't want to yeah. hear him say, oh, "You see, told you so." Told you. Come on, come back home. We're gonna book your flight back home. Mm-hmm. And you ain't gonna sit there and do what? Nah, fuck. I promise you, bro. I'd rather die than do that than uh, go back. Right, exactly. And 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 then when it's that deep, you feel that shit in your in your fucking bones, man. And it's mm-hmm. like nobody can tell you shit. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's why I'm like, bro. When I got resourceful, I was like, yeah, I'm stubborn as fuck mm-hmm. because I don't take no. As I mean, I have a healthy relationship with rejection. Like I could think yeah. you say no, it's cool. Well, okay, I'm gonna circle back around. I'm gonna try, try to again. figure out another way to get and there. And if I can't get there, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna get to the shit. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't because I know where I'm going and it's like all the shit I'm doing now. I knew I was gonna do. Yeah, I just didn't know when it was gonna happen, but I just mm-hmm. knew I was gonna do it. The Grammy I won, hell yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew that shit was gonna happen. That's I'm in 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 great segue because I really want to I I want to there was a bunch of things in that I kind of not a bunch but there's a couple of things in that I wanted to talk about I mean yeah I like so I said so there's there's Kanye it's it's Kanye you Ronnie J and then two other people right Bugs, DJ Khalil I think Kinda, 88 Keys and like Mike and I think it's Mike, Mike Dean. Dean there's a lot of people in that song man that Hurricane was uh sounds a lot different from what actually came out. The original idea. How did it start? Uh, yeah. So how did? So I was in Chicago working with. I, well, I was. I went to Chicago because I heard my homie told me that <laughs> <clears throat> Chance and Kanye were doing an album together. My homie said, "Hey, we finna be in Chicago." And you so worked I, with Chance. Not the I, oh yeah. yeah. Oh my bad. And I worked with so yeah. Yeah. Just some context. I did. I've worked with Chance before. Yeah. I did a song called "Grown Ass Kid." Me and Cam yeah. Obi did that. Well, my homie called my, my brother Cam, and we did uh-huh. that. So me and him and Chance, and you know, we we've, we've known each other for a while. Yeah. And plus all his. His homies that produced him were all cool. Yeah. So when they told me that they were out there working, I said, man, I'm coming out there tomorrow. Yeah. And on top of that, it's like, I'm coming through. Just, it's not just like I'm coming through and taking them space. I'm coming yeah. through and making some shit. Yeah, we're making some shit. So when I get there, boom, I get to Chicago. I'm working with uh, Kanye. and I'm working with Chance, I'm sorry, and, and everybody. Mm-hmm. Somebody mentioned Bugs. And Bugs is a is a very, very dear friend of mine. And he's a Chicago legend. Yes. He's a producer, but he's a legend mm-hmm. in his own self. But in Chicago, he's a legend. He's a super legend. Super legend. And mm-hmm. he and, and this is someone that's been with Kanye since they are 15. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he's one of my favorite producers. So mm-hmm. I heard someone say Bugs. I said, motherfucker, Bugs. Bugs. Bugs is here. That's right. Yeah. Bugs was. It didn't click for me. Yeah. So I text Bugs, hey, bro, I'm downstairs. <laughs> he's like, man, come up. So I go upstairs and sh- man, it's <laughs> bugs and a bunch of people and Kanye and I'm like, man, I said, man, what's up, bro? Like, let me, like, give me, like, what's up? Just give me everything you yeah. got from Kanye. Hurricane's mm-hmm. one of them. A, a bunch of stuff. I'm hearing Kanye throughout the week rap to my shit. I'm like, losing it. I'm, I'm going upstairs, go grab a couple snacks upstairs, and I'm like, I'm here in the background and rapping to this beat. That I remember one beat me and Jake one did. I'm like, 
I was like, damn, bro. I was like, this is crazy, bro. Like, and I couldn't say shit because, you know, yeah, you got to yeah, keep exactly. it low. And yeah, you know, yeah. But I'm like, act like you've been there before. I'm like, this is incredible. I'm like, this is so fire, bro. And like, you know, and then that was that. The mm-hmm. album never happened. Uh, the album was called Good Ass Job. It never happened. That's what him and Chance, right? Him and Chance yeah. were going to do Good Ass Job. And in the midst, the process of making that album, Kanye was like, well, I'm going to make my album now. It was mm-hmm. called Yandi. Mm-hmm. So then it became, you know, then once that happened, it was mm-hmm. like, Really dope was the studio, GLC, Bump J, Big Sean. Everyone, and it became the Kanye show. Like everyone's there. For Everybody's Kanye. there. So now it's like, damn. And then the album never came out. So for that to come out three years later, mm-hmm. I was like, damn, like this shit really, you, you just don't know. What's a three year old beat? A three year old beat. And then four year now, but yeah, three. Damn. Yeah, that's what the, but, but the beat that came out. Does it I sound cause, like the way I said because I mean everybody touching it because yeah it's, it must be like an assembly line working with him. It really is. A, it yeah. literally is like that. It's a lot. It's everybody in there. They all making beats for him, and then from there they pick out what you know what he likes, and then they build it from it. But it just sounds very different. But it sounds it's fire though. But you know, but it's still it's still for me. It, 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 I hold it close to my heart because it's Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Oh, to yeah, get my right. first Grammy with Kanye West being from Chicago. That's shopping samples of. That's a like, W. Man, it's like it's 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 like some like it's like some some shit you don't you don't can't even you wrap your head about. around. Yeah, man. That's you know what you what dream mean? about like you know yeah. what I mean like you... it's literally, bro. So so for me, it's like I'm just I'm grateful for it, and I I was able to bring my family, bring my mama with me to the red carpet and. Me and my boy mm-hmm. Los brought our moms in the red carpet, mm-hmm. and we, you know, we was nominated for Good Days too. Really? You know, yeah, Good Days got nominated, yeah. and, and that's, an, that's another one that I hold close because that one's the closest to like my world and my signature, yeah. our world, our signature. Yeah. And um, but you know, but we didn't get that one. But well, I walked out with one, and I was and I was grateful for it. <laughs> you walked out with one, like you I, I, I was one for four, twenty five percent from the field. It was an off day. <laughs> But I promise you that next time we go, we shooting that bitch eighty percent. Nah, least. word, that's not as crazy as him. Cause like, you know what I mean? I just think it's mad interesting just for the fact that it's like, you know, even even though like everybody was on it, everybody touched it. And, yeah. You know, whatever, I don't know what part what part you or well, what it, my my part was the actual sample part. I mean, like when I oh. ch- chopped this part that Khalil had sent me, so it was just a loop. Mm-hmm. So it was really DJ Khalil and myself the original, yeah. but it was built off of that, and that shit got taken out. But um, but they it took that part, that part, and they built around it, and it became this more minimal beat. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's yeah. still super fine. But it's still, still the same chords. But like you know, it, it it's still it's like I said, it's still um, it was just, it was a very um. Sometimes I'd be like, man, this shit's crazy. Like I I can't be I don't believe it, but mm-hmm. um, I'm grateful for it, man. And you know, you gotta just stay in the middle, man. Cause shit go good, yeah, stay in the middle. Shit go bad. bad. Stay in the middle, bro, because you can't get too high, or too low, man. Because she don't. It all comes like this. Mm-hmm. So the best, best way to do it, man, just stay right here. That way, the, whatever the fuck happens, you, man. You, you cruising, bro. You in that motherfucking middle, and you straight. You're hanging out, and, you, and, and, and you keep your sanity like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> I mean, also too, you know, you never want to get big headed about it. You yeah. just want to always kind of think of the next thing, and mm-hmm. you know, kind of keep your head down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and, and move through it. For sure. But I mean, <clears throat> but even there's something like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm I probably lose it for at least, at least a day. Like I, I'd have my moment. I'm not gonna lie. Man, I was, I mean, I got this motherfucker uh, penthouse and, uh, <laughs> at the Palms. Yeah, and that was wild now. <laughs> yeah. I said, "Fuck it, my first one, man." Yeah, it was a real, it was a real world, uh, a yeah. real world Vegas motherfucker house. <laughs> no, really? I don't think it was. It looked like it though. I said, "Did what's this? Was the real world? The real world had a Vegas. It yeah, was the Palms, and it was, yeah, and was, it was, the, was palms. the Palms." And, and it I don't know if it was that one, but it was looked like it. it I said, been. "Man, this shit hard." I said, "Fuck that." I said. I said this shit. I'm like, I want to do it big, man. Do it bigger. Do it big, especially yeah. the first time. Fuck it, man. Because you know, you come from sleeping on couches and not having money to pay a phone bill yeah. to go to the Grammys and be with your family. It's like, man, that shit. That shit is like, man. Fuck that, bro. Like, you gotta deserve that shit. You earn that shit. Yeah. And 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 man, live it. And experience you gotta pat it. yourself on the back sometimes. I mean, you know, at least for certain shit. I mean, especially for something like that. You know Hell what I mean? Yeah. It's everything you work for. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I mean, even with like. Even like I said, even with track record and shit like that, you know what I mean. Even though who you work because you've also worked with Wayne, and that's I, that's wow. Well, you know, I forget. I I really do forget. about I mean, I, you mentioned that like, I did, I did my research. You did a yeah. you did a lot of uh, you. I have a lot of songs with Wayne, but only one came out. It was called two. Uh, there's two out. Oh, there's two out. There's two out. There's um. <laughs> I don't even know. Like Wait. I said, there's two. There's uh the one that there's was one on the called uh, tape. There's called Free Weezy. It's called Without You, and and, I, and I made that be here. Really? Yeah, I mean, I'd be recorded it here with me and BB and and my other homie Ben. Yeah, we shot. We recorded the trumpet. We did it in the studio without you. Huh? Yeah, and, and then the other deep one. Deep sleep. 
Deep Sleep. Yeah. That Deep one did come out. out. Deep Sleep is out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Oh, shit. I know it was out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least, I mean, unless it leaked somewhere, but yeah. Rap Genius has it. Yeah. Like, under its shit. So, yeah, like, it's I'm, out. So it's been out. Like, I'm, and I'm a, I'm a Wayne fanatic. That's a Maxwell, like that. Alicia Keys sample I did. I flip. And, um, really? And you don't know how he got it. I think my homies, the Olympics, got it to Mac Main or something. And then Weezy Wayne got it. But I would love to work with Lil Wayne again on some real, like, one on one shit. Like, just, to, or, or at least give him some beats. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I'm, I would love that. I mean, I don't think he's, I feel like he's not going to quit anytime soon. So, I nah, mean, I'm gonna check still got, you still got a chance, I feel. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I got a chance, right? Yeah. Because, like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you, know, and, and, you know, even though we're, we're, we're coming to a closing, but I just also, I want to talk on, like, kind of the last thing, too, because, yeah. um, so I know you you worked a lot with Brent Fox, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but you're close friends with Troy, or not Troy? What's his name? Ty. Uh, Ty. Ty. Yeah, Ty yeah. is my, my 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 partner. Yeah, and I business partner. And you're you're assigned to a or to a specific type of deal where you kind of keep all of your masters. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a admin deal. The, pub, the, the there's two types of pub deals: the co pub deal and the admin deal, right? Mm. And I'm uh, administrative, so administrative just collects your publishing. Yeah. They service your work and they and they uh you know they get you syncs and stuff like that, but they they charge you a percentage of the of what you make. Yeah. Co pub deal, you you split that pub, you know, down the middle with, yeah. with the coming and it gives you some money. Mm-hmm. Um I'm I'm um like I I am a, like I, I'm that that's the number one thing that I'm that I'm passionate about because um, you know, ownership is so important and, and, and there should be no gatekeeping of not of information. Mm-hmm. And I feel like um a lot of times people try to be like they try to, you know, they don't try to shit the game and shit. And um the way the best way that I could put it is like when you go sign a co pub deal or something, it's like you go in and take going to the bank to get a loan for a house and then when you're done paying the house, you don't own the house. Yeah. That yeah. shit don't make no fucking sense. At all. Now you can you could you could you could you could structure your deal where like yeah. well shit. I will pay the house off, but in ten years, give me the house. All right, cool. In ten years, yeah, that's ten years. But it's ten years, I might be dead. I'm not saying me, but no, yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. the fuck it is, they yeah. might be the They might be not around, or exactly. or they might. So it doesn't make any sense. No, yeah. if I pay for this shit now, I'm, 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 if I paid it off, I want it now. Exactly. So for me, like I said earlier, I can't front and be like I knew about ownership and independence early on. I didn't know about mm-hmm. that shit. I just didn't get an offer here. Mm-hmm. But it was, but it's it's consistent. With, with what was meant for me, yeah. Because I didn't get offered nothing because I wasn't supposed to sign shit. shit, and because I was supposed to go this route independent. Mm-hmm. So for me, to break bread with Ty, he has his own company called Cowboys and Pirates, was it was in a publishing company. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm gonna break bread with my brother because yeah. we both was in my homie's fucking couch, his living room, thugging it out. Exactly. And now he got one of the biggest artists in the world. Oh God. So why would I not break bread with my brother? Right? Exactly. Now, when these labels, these publishing companies call and they want, when they, they they come, hey man, what's up? I, I tell them how much I want, I want and they don't, million. they don't call back. <laughs> so it's like, or, or you tell them they're like, oh yeah, we going, oh, we got you. Don't call mm-hmm. back, and it's like this is because we cap, bro. Because like, who who's gonna tell me what I'm worth besides me? Yeah, exactly. Nobody, right? Mm-hmm. And on top of that, it ain't about the money, mm-hmm. because by God's grace. Money's not it's cool. Money good. Yeah, because we own all our shit. We make money every month because of STEM, because of master royalties. Mm-hmm. So money isn't an option. And what I might be asking for, I might not even have. Yeah, Master P turned down a what million dollar deal. He had five hundred dollars in his pockets. That's why everybody yeah. want to be Master P. So it's time to be turn down a check like Master P. It's not a lot of people folding. What do you mean? Bro, I turned down a million dollar pub deal at the dog park. I was with my dog, and I really? saw this shit. It was a co pub deal. It wasn't a real million. Yeah, exactly. Said a million thing. Said a million. Said a million. Said a, yeah. a million. But I turn that bitch down because I'm, like, I'm not doing a co-pub. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm thinking 20 years from now when I when I when I have more hits and more, yeah. you know, and I'm not, I you know, I can you can't sell what you don't own. Exactly. And that's why yeah. a lot of guys like the Dream and Timberland, well, the dream, you guys, the they dream sell a portion. Yeah. And he sold a portion. He sold. A, and they also give him equity in the company that buys <laughs> other people's publishing. But he never signed a, a, a co-pub. He yeah, is an yeah. admin. So guess what? Again, you can't sell what you don't own. Yeah. I'm gonna go give. I'm gonna go ask somebody whatever to buy my, my shit back. Now my shit is my shit. You see what happened to Snoop? You know what I'm saying? Snoop was talking about. Well, let me buy my masters back. He said, "How much?" He said, "All right, well, I'll just take Death Row." He'd rather buy Death Row yeah. than buy his own masters back. That's right, fucking she, crazy. 
bitch. Yeah, he. That's why he owns Death Row. But it's it's important, man. It's important to to um, you know, you gotta read the room sometimes too. And I don't I don't want this to be taken away like, oh, if you sign a Cobra deal, you fuck now. You know why I can't tell a, a a young cat or anybody a producer that got family to feed, kids to feed, that they get offered 150 bands and they gonna turn it down. No, take that shit. If you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. You handle your business. You just work your, your family ass off after work though. Yeah, so get the best terms you can get, and then get that money because you got because you know me, I moved in a way where I didn't have to have nobody count on me. I didn't yeah. have a kid, I didn't have a wife mm-hmm. or nothing. So I'm like, if I gotta eat eggs and rice for the next month, two months, ramen noodles, fuck it, it's cool, bro. Yeah. I'm lit. I don't yeah. give a fuck. It's cool. I'm gonna do it. It's just me. It's just me. I can yeah. handle it. Yeah. At this point, I don't gotta worry about that no more. But yeah. but I made those decisions at that point so I can get to this point. Yeah. And it's like, so I when they offer me a deal, seventy five thousand, I turn that shit down. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's like, because the ownership is important. And on top of that, it's like you know, me being like, yo, I'm making black music, bro, and I'm working with black artists and black musicians, and yeah. so that's why when I was talking earlier about you know jam sessions and all this shit, it's like yeah, you doing shit that you people were looking at you like, why are you giving them pub? Well, because they coming up with shit. What you mean? It's an intellectual property. What yeah. you mean? Mm-hmm. So I got to put my money where my mouth is. Mm-hmm. Or else I'm, I'm just, I'm just bad as anybody them. else, man. So look, it's bad as them. And even if I'm not gonna make as much, it's still. I don't give a fuck, bro. Because the principle day, it ain't too. about the money, bro. So that's why it's like, with these big publishing companies, I don't want to sit at their table. Yeah. But if you want me to come fuck with y'all, then pay me. Yeah. Because they're not courting you. No. It's like it's like going on a date. You know what I'm saying? Yo, <laughs> take me out there. Yo, man, get to know me. Take me out to the motherfucking botanical garden. Yeah, take me to dinner. Word. Take me to a movie. Yeah. And then fuck. Fuck eggs. But if you want to just fuck, <laughs> then you want to pay me. And you're not gonna, you got to pay me. Hey, you got to pay me. say who you want to get in with, man. Frank Ocean. <laughs> I want to get in with Frank Ocean, Beyonce, Hove, A.K. Paul. Yeah. Man, I want to get in with a lot of people. <laughs> Crickets. Yo, what's up, man? Like, come yeah. on, we gotta just we gotta make this deal happen. Yeah. Oh, we gotta make this deal happen. Yeah, exactly. Well, then go, well, then go, baby, come pay your boy. Yeah, exactly. Because I wanna, work, I wanna work with people that believe in me, dog. Uh mm-hmm. huh. And I wanna work with people that say, "Hey, man, we get this motherfucker two million dollar check. Says, get on his ass, ass about where we're gonna get him more. If not, what's the point? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, but, but it'll, it, the, the reason why I know is that I'm on the path that I'm supposed to be on is because I'm not gonna be passionate about eighty percent of the sessions they're gonna put me in. Yeah. Because this is what it is, yeah, and, and, that, I, and, and my and my my journey is not the placement game. It's not yeah. putting me in the studio with boom boom every day, mm-hmm. working with all these up and coming. Well, not up and coming, just all these miscellaneous yeah. artists that I'm not passionate about. They yeah. don't even fit in my world. Now I'm just making. If I was a director, just, now I'm just making lifetime just movies. Making lifetime I'm not making movies. lifetime movies, bro. I'm making. You are saying Pulp Fiction, yeah, Reservoir exactly. Dogs, motherfucking Making Beetlejuice? Statements. Bro, come on, man! Yeah, I'd rather statements. put out Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and Beetlejuice and be done mm-hmm. than make fucking seventeen <laughs> Lifetime movies. Nobody know who the fuck I am. Not a, legacy, not a soul. bro. Not a soul, bro. And mm-hmm. I'm going down as a legend, bro. And I'm oh, all said and done, bro. When this shit's done, they are gonna know what's up. They are gonna name. They are gonna be like, "Yep, right there." Put them right there because yeah, because I this I, that's how it was supposed I did to be. It all, yeah, and I did them, and I'm gonna do it my way, guys. And no. That's it. What a way to end this, because that was <laughs> fucking perfect. Guys, I I can't thank my mains here enough. You know what I mean? This is, this is you know what I'm saying? You Shout out to the tequila. To exactly. Make this shit go smooth. Cheers, yeah. my brother. My appreciate you, know you know man. What I'm saying? But yeah, man, so I appreciate you. There. This has been Life in Times, man, with, with, with the... Life in Times. Yo, uh, Butterfly Effect, me and BJ Chicago Kid, got an album coming out next year. Or I, he he going he gonna to hate that I said he next year. Hate that you said coming next soon. Year. The Butterfly Effect, me and BJ, and then Don't Grow Up Too Soon, my second album coming out next year, because I can say next year. Wait, wait, hold on. So yeah, you have an album coming out, and yeah. and just kind of just briefly kind of give us like an overview of it. You know, what what are you, you know, the name, if yeah. you can give so, out the name and things so, of nature. So my second album is called Don't Grow Up Too Soon. It's a follow-up to Minus the Bullshit, Life's Great. Mm-hmm. And uh, Don't Grow Up Too Soon is just like an ode to the inner child, and um and going through the process of healing the inner child. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, you know, and uh, I, because that's what I'm going through right now, currently in my life, you know, with therapy and, like, going, you know, talking to my parents and kind of, like, having tough conversations about yeah. my childhood, uh, it's it, it's the perfect time to bring it out. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's all about, you know, the inner child, man, is, is the most pure and, and has the most imagination and has no judgment. And it's like trying to go back to that and you know but 
given that some of us are from certain environments, we don't have the luxury to just be a kid all the time. We got to grow up quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, cool. We had to do that. But at least now that we're, you know, adults, yeah. let's heal that inner child. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I... I'll be think I'll be doing shit, bro, and I'll be thinking, what will fifteen year old me think about the shit I'm doing? Yeah. I mean, that shit tight as fuck, man. Keep doing that shit. <laughs> or if I was doing some cap shit, but like, what you man, like, come on, bro, shit cap. Like, what you doing? So I'll be like, man, I'm making sure that that dude is good. <laughs> exactly. Cause I know he over there judging. Exactly. And he looking at me like, but also just man, entering things from a from a pure place, man, and and of light. Mm-hmm. And um with no angles and and um, you know, I really really want to paint this picture and paint and, and create this world man because it's, it's art at the end of the day and i'm and, I, and i'm a producer but i'm an artist yeah and uh i'm not just putting the playlist together i'm not just putting motherfuckers together because they got big names and we're gonna put them on some trendy shit yeah i'm gonna take my time to paint this picture and make you feel something mm-hmm. because we all want to heal that inner child we all got shit that we haven't dealt with or that we suppress mm-hmm. and and that is there and you know we got to get to it Cause Cause when we leave this bitch, we want to be light as fuck. You don't want to carry all that shit Come with on. you, dog. You feel me? Come on. So that's why, that's why you know, it's important that to be intentional and to be um, responsible with our message and our and our reach. And, um, you know, and, and because you really do be inspiring people, bro. And you be doing shit. And motherfuckers look at you like, man, bro, you did this interview or you did that interview. Or you did, man, you, and, and that should help me. Yeah. You don't even know it. Well, and it do be that deep, bro. Because yeah. music is music is music heals and music um, bro, it helps, music all yeah. day, man. Like you know what I'm saying. I mean, bro, an album changed my life. Stillmatic yeah. and Crying 2001 changed the course of my life. Literally, no, literally, and it's, it's my which, life. And you know, and I will, and I wanted to kind of just touch on that briefly too. The fact that where you're from mm-hmm. and you being, you know, Hispanic or mm-hmm. Mexican or whatever Mexican, you want to yeah. call it, well, same shit. Man, being politically correct these days. But um, um you know, fucking like, Mexican. Yeah, fucking Mexican. <laughs> um, and listening to that, yeah, especially and then around the that time. Yeah, yeah. Like that's yeah. It, yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's like, you know what I mean, that bro, look, man, Dr. Dre is 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 he's the one. He is the Quincy Jones of yeah. hip hop. He's he's Thanos, bro. Yeah. And when I I went to his crib, I went to his crib in February with BJ for his birthday, and um and I was over there, bro, and I'm I'm sharing this because it's because it's like it's like again it's like that inner child. Yeah. And I was at his crib, we were chopping um, whatever. BJ telling him, "Hey, this is not sent, man. He made beats and he fired." I met Dr. Dre a long time ago, but yeah. he didn't remember that shit. Yeah. So we go to his crib, man. Come on, we go to the studio downstairs, and I'm playing the beats off my phone because I don't have my computer yeah. on me because I didn't come you know? ready to play beats. He's like, <laughs> and I'm playing them beats, bro. And he's like, mm, next one, nah, nah, it's too slow. Nah, I knew I knew you was gonna do that with those drums. Now nah, the sample that's off. Now nah, them hi hats too loose, man. Why? Why? Then he's like, man, why? Why y'all be doing them hi hats so loose? How you supposed to ride the beat? And I'm sitting there, and BJ texting me like, bro, like, don't worry, bro. He does this to everybody. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, fuck, man. I'm like, but I didn't get flustered. I was like, it's cool. He's being yeah. honest. Yeah, exactly. So the dog score gives it to somebody else. They play some shit. He didn't like it. The other person he liked it, and he's like, nah. And then they couldn't catch it. So I'm like, fuck this. I'm like, why am I playing this dude beats out play for Brent or J. Cole or like Yeah, exactly. He's, you know, he's 50 something. He wants some hard, he wants shit. Some hard shit. Go to your 50 cent LEP bag, bro. Yeah. I like, yo, Dre, let me get that shit again. Huh? Like, let me get that. Let me get the aux score again. Dre's like, oh, I'm like, come on, let me get it. I got you. Yeah, exactly. Cause he was talking shit. He was like, oh, he's like, oh, oh, you ain't got your computer, right? Oh, you would <laughs> oh, all your real beats are on your computer, right? Yeah, exactly. And I was like, dang, he's talking shit to me. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I hear it all the time. Everybody always tell me they beats on their computer now mm-hmm. on their phone. I was like, he talking shit. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I got you, but don't worry. So I'm like, man, I went to my OG count folder from like 2014. <laughs> OG folder. It's it, LEP man. Mm-hmm. LEP Bogus Boy G count. Mm-hmm. You know, I go in. The, I go in the folder. I play the first one. Mm-hmm. And bro, Dre gets up and he starts fucking smacking <laughs> my back. My shoulder, motherfucker. This is shit I'm talking. Why you ain't played this shit in the beginning, motherfucker? I said, man, I said, what's the fun in that, bro? Yeah, exactly. Said, yeah, we got to go look back and forth, man. Yeah. He starts laughing, man, load the shit up. Did a verse, did a hook. On yeah, with Dr. Dre verse? Yeah, bro, and it was crazy, man, because I'm sitting there, and PJ, PJ, my brother, man, he's like, he's fucking going crazy because he's like, man, I wish I had a camera, bro. He's like, because that was part of the documentary. Yeah, man. Like, no, literally. Because Dre's giving me a hard time, dog. Yeah. G giving me a hard time. He like, man, and I'm sitting next to this. Is my, I have a picture of him in my studio, bro. 
the like old pick of Dre yeah. on a on an old colors with gold chain, like just post it up. Yeah. He's the he's the one. Yeah. And he's not fucking with me. I mean, he's like, <laughs> I don't want to say not fucking with me. He's like, he's, but he's being like, like yeah. nah, next. That shit yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. No. And I'm like, damn, bro. So when that happened, I was like, I had a little pep in my step for like a couple of days, man. A week. Man, I was man. like, man, walking around like shit. What happened to the verse? Man. I mean, I don't know. Was it supposed to come out on know. Detox? Yeah, never that jumped? shit never coming out. Never no, but it out. might come out. Who knows? But I remember afterwards, he like, my bad. He took, he said, man, you know, he said, man, take my number down. And I was like, holy shit. Like, this is Dr. Dre. And I'm never too cool to say, you know what, man? Yeah. That shit, I couldn't believe that, man. Yeah. I, I, I was starstruck. I was yeah. like, you know, because it's yeah, Dr. Exactly. Dre. Yeah, exactly. It's Dr. Dre. Everybody and has like, one person. Like, I'm never too cool. And there's a couple people that I won't be too cool. That's mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Now I kept it cool, but I'm like, I won't be too cool to share how excited I was, how much yeah. that meant to me, yeah. and, and what that did for me. Yeah, because um, it just you know it just it just solidified everything for me that this is a part of the story and the journey, and now I'm being more intentional with doing more interviews mm-hmm. or having, you know, uh, like we're going to go work on my album in DR in a couple yeah. of days and having my homie go there and document everything. Because it's all, you know, we don't know what's going to happen out there and what we're going to make. Exactly. And there might be something very special. There will be something special yeah, exactly. made over there mm-hmm. that five years from now, we have the footage for. Exactly. Like, oh, that's the one. That's the, they made, what's the name joint there? Damn, crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. all part of it, bro. At the end of the day, it's all legacy. We leave this shit behind. Because at the end of the day, we leave and we're gone. And all we got left is this. What they're going to say about us. Exactly. And, and, and the music and the shit we leave behind. Exactly. So, I mean, it just makes sense to, you know, do everything for you. You know what I'm saying? But look, man. I just really wanted to make sure that we talked about that. You know I appreciate it, bro. I, I appreciate that. Shit, I don't bro. know how the fuck I forgot, but look, guys, it's all good. I appreciate you for real. You know what I'm saying? This is this has been one of those. This might end up being a two party because I think this is long as fuck. We gotta do two party. We gotta do like uh different parts, man. Yeah. Different clips. You know, oh, bro, I'm gonna, you know, get, give give the come, give the come. You're man. gonna get tired of, of my text messages, bro. Cause I'm about to chop the fuck out of this. Like this, man, is, I, this I is great. Wait. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, this is life and times, man. With, with my good friend, I sent y'all. You know what I mean? Appreciate you for coming through, man. And uh, yeah, any last words? Stay safe, stay dangerous. Don't fuck them, bro. Own your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Bow. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs>